Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the Maxthon web browser onto your computer. This is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to open up any web browser here. Doesn't matter which web browser you want to use. So now I'm going to navigate over to Google. Maybe it's already your home page. And you want to type in Maxthon web browser. And then you want to search like you wouldn't any other normal search. One of the best matches that comes up should say fast and secure browser, Maxthon cloud browser, and the domain should be maxthon.com. You want to left click to open up this site. And I'd recommend you download it directly from the makers of the software. So over here at the time of this recording, there's something that says download now. You want to left click on that button once to begin the download process. It's about 50 megabytes, so it's definitely not a tiny download, but not too big. And if you have decent internet connection, you should not take very long. It appears we only have about another 30 seconds before it's finished downloading. Okay, it looks like it's finished downloading. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to minimize out of my web browser here. You might receive a user account control window asking if you want to allow the app to make changes to your device. You want to make sure it's the verified publisher information. It says Maxthon Limited. And then click on Yes to begin the installation process. You want to make sure this check mark is filled in next to accept and I'd also recommend clicking on this advanced button right here and you can see we have a couple different options here if you wanted to create a desktop shortcut and set it as a default browser you can change those options right through here I'm gonna uncheck the set as default browser I mean you can keep it checked doesn't really make that big of a deal but we're gonna select install now And if you want to sync Maxon's settings between different installation instances of Buffer, you can do that right here if you wanted to. If you had an account, you can create and register it if you wanted to do it. Other web browsers like Chrome offer similar services. But we're just going to skip the login by clicking on Skip Login down there. There we go, guys. Maxon has been installed on our computer. And as always, I do hope I was able to help you guys out. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.